This is the first installment of a four-part series studying the height of velocity diagram. Today, we will examine the development of the actual curve. The following two episodes will highlight several important caveats. And finally, we will end the series with some practical recommendations. The HV envelope is the combination of height and airspeed from which a safe landing, in case of an engine failure, cannot be guaranteed because of the overall aircraft energy balance. The HV diagram in the Rotorcraft Flight Manual depicts the boundary of the height and speed envelope where actual successful landings, after engine failures, have been demonstrated during certification test flights. That means that within the HV envelope, a successful landing, in case of an engine failure, has not been demonstrated and cannot be guaranteed. This series will focus upon single engine, normal category helicopters, as they represent the majority of helicopters in service. The HV curve is defined under very specific conditions. The landings are accomplished at up to 7,000 foot density altitude. Each test point requires that the helicopter be at its maximum internal takeoff gross mass. The landing surface must be smooth and hard. The winds must be calm, below three knots. And the pilot may only use normal pilot skill. No exceptional skills, alertness, or conditions are allowed. And of course, there may be no permanent deformation of the aircraft, including the landing gear. The speed and altitude combinations used to establish specific points above the knee of the curve are fly-in points and are established using only power required to maintain that specific altitude and speed. These test points require that the pilot delay their flight control inputs for one full second after the engine is disengaged from the rotor system. The points below the knee of the curve are realized using maximum takeoff power. Here, the pilot is not required to delay their flight control inputs by one second. Instead, they may take action using normal pilot reaction time. Depending upon the pilot, this may or may not be one second. Additionally, all HV diagrams must include a recommended takeoff corridor. A pilot using normal skill should be able to consistently use this takeoff profile to remain clear of the avoid areas of the respective HV diagram by a minimum of five knots. But why is there no recommended landing corridor? Well, remember that the curve is built using required power above the knee of the curve, which is the precise amount of power necessary to maintain a constant speed and altitude combination. While below the knee of the curve, takeoff power is used to accelerate from a zero airspeed hover into forward flight with a climb out. There is no point which represents a deceleration or descent or any combination of the two. The HV curve only represents two flight conditions, level flight or takeoff. That means that the reciprocal of the takeoff corridor does not represent a recommended landing corridor. During landing, with all other parameters remaining equal, you are in a better position to enter an auto rotation because you already have the collective lowered and are in a descent. This will moderate that initial RPM droop. Keep this in mind as you are making your approaches.